Peace to all of you who truly love Jesus Christ. Uh, today it's on my heart to um, share an example that the Lord left us through the scriptures. Uh, the, the scriptures tell us that God, you know, the things that happened in the past, uh, they happened for an example to us so that we could, you know, uh, read about these things that happened and learn from them. You know, learn from either the uh, mistakes that were made or learn from the uh, good things that happened and, and follow the um, good examples that were left to us uh, by God's servants. Uh, today I want to share uh, about the example left to us through the, uh, through the account of Cain and Abel. You know, uh, Cain and Abel were the uh, first recorded children of Adam and Eve. And the word talks about Cain and Abel. Cain was a, a tiller of the ground and Abel, he uh, kept sheep. And both of these men brought... Uh, they brought sacrifices to God, offerings to God. And uh, the Lord respected Abel's offering. He accepted it. But Cain's offering, he did not respect his offering. He did not accept his offering. And the scriptures tell us why it is that uh, Cain's offering was not accepted by God. And the reason is, is because Cain was in sin. So Cain brought his offering to God while he was in sin. And his offering was rejected by God. And, and what the Lord has been putting on my heart to share is that there are many people in the world today who are bringing offerings and of uh offerings of praise and worship and thanks uh offerings of you know um time and and, and they're they're putting putting their diligence and going to church sunday after sunday but their offerings to god are rejected by him because they are walking and lifestyles of sin there are also people today who want to know God and want to have a relationship with God but they come to him bringing a wrong offering of uh, humility a wrong offering of surrender your surrender has to be with the whole heart. Your humility has to be of a contrite spirit. And, you know, the Lord wanted to share this with you because there are many people who begin to believe that God no longer cares about them or no longer wants them because he does not answer them when they come to him. But the reason that he does not answer you and, and yours sacrifice and offering is not accepted by him is because you must first like jesus taught cut off your hand what is causing you to sin cut it off and cast it away from you so that you can enter into life and not be cast into hell but first you must cut off what it is that is separating you from god because contrary to popular belief and what is taught in the churches today, sin still separates us from, from God. Sin still places a barrier between us and God. He does not accept sin today. Just as in the past, he did not accept it from his children. He was always telling them to turn from their sin, to stop it, to learn to do good, to cease from evil. To, uh, you know, plead the cause of the widow 
and the orphan. So, you know, I wanted to share this message today to, to give an understanding of this because it's being taught in the churches today that you can come into the kingdom of God in your sin, with your sin still attached, and then you'll begin to sin less and less. But that never really happens because you must come to God through a true godly sorrowful repentance. And that means that you lay down everything that you know is wrong you cease to do it you you strive to enter into the kingdom that is the striving that we are doing the striving against sin and the lord will help you with it we know that you cannot do anything without jesus christ you know i hear a lot of people say well if you can stop sinning then you would need jesus you know these people are deceived though Because throughout scripture The Lord lets us know that He gives us the ability To choose To make a choice To choose to sin or to choose to stop sinning And that is the reason That you are You know the Lord taught To cut off the hand Or to you know cut off the foot Pluck out the eye It's you who does that work It's you who comes to God you know doing the works of repentance he's not going to do that part for you he'll he'll help you the Holy Spirit is you know with us drawing us to God no one comes to God except he draw them first so the Holy Spirit will work with you and, and draw you to him but he will not come and dwell inside of you until you keep his commandments until you learn to do good and stop doing evil and Jesus Christ affirmed this by his teaching he said those that love him keep his commandments and then he will come and manifest himself to these people those that love him by keeping his commandments so until you do that you will not have a true revelation of Jesus Christ because he will not have manifested himself to you if you are still in sin that is separating you from him Jesus said unless you forsake all that you have you cannot be his disciple so you know this is something that needs to be made clear because there are so many false doctrines and false gospels today so much confusion about what repentance is. See, Satan didn't take away repentance. He confused what repentance is. So now people believe that they can come to God with their sin. They can come to God without first uh, becoming like little children. That they can come to God without first hating their lives in this world. Laying down their lives and surrendering themselves, surrendering their minds to God to be transformed. Now, does this mean that we will uh, never uh, make a mistake or never stumble? It's a shame that I, I have to always say this because, you know, people are so deceived and confused today. They don't know the difference between willful sin and, and the lifestyle of sin. So I have to keep, you know, harping on this thing that, yes, we can stumble, but a true Christian is not stumbling all over the place all of the time. Paul said that there are certain things that should not even be named once among us. So, you know, when people get to talking about, well, are you perfect? See, these people are still uh, in the vile sins of the flesh, still watching pornography, still fornicating still getting drunk you know that these, these things should not even be named once among those that are professing the name of jesus who are his saints his royal priesthood so i wanted to uh, bring this message today because it is uh, it is very important that uh we teach and preach the the correct way of how to enter into god's kingdom because most people who are Christians today are deceived 
We have people who are putting their hope in the letter. And Paul told us that the letter killeth, but it's the spirit of God that brings life. And, and the spirit is rarely talked about today. The spirit is rarely talked about today because people don't know him. People don't hear the voice of God through his spirit, through the comforter that he will send to us when we truly give up our lives to him. He will come to us. He will send. Jesus Christ will send his spirit to us. But most people never get the spirit because they never stop sinning. They never truly repent and turn their lives over to God to follow him, to follow his commands and what he teaches. So I'm going to end this uh, message here. And, and uh, you know, I, I hope that this message you know, you, you open up and let this message into your heart, this truth into your heart and love the truth. Be blessed.